Hello everyone, welcome to our new maths lesson. Today our lesson is length and distance. I know that you all have done this lesson before. But in length and distance part 1, what did you all learn? You all learned about meters and kilometers. But here in our lesson today, we are going to learn about something different. That is not meters and kilometers, but it is centimeters and meters. So, we will first see what is centimeter and meters. Puti, do you know what is a length? A length is the distance between two points. That is the distance between two points. To measure this length, we use meters and centimeters. Now, in the lesson, uh, length and distance part 1, you all learned that 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters. Here, we are learning that 1 meter equals to 100 meters. The symbol we use to denote meter is simple m and the symbol we use to denote centimeter is simple cm. Now Putte, you need to keep these things in your mind. You need to buy heart these things that is 1 meter equals 100 centimeter and we use simple m to denote meter and we use simple cm to denote centimeters. Now we need to convert these meters to centimeters and we want to convert centimeters into meters. Now I have given you a small equation here that is to convert meters to centimeter what you must do? You need to multiply the given number of meters by what? By 100. Now when you convert centimeters into meters you need to apply the opposite of that that is you need to divide the given number of centimeters by 100 so keep these things in your mind so then you can answer every questions which you get under the topic length and distance that is meters and centimeters you can answer all those questions well so we'll move into this uh, question. I have given you few questions to refresh your mind. I know that you all have learned these in grade 4. So I will just refresh your memory from these four questions. First one, how many meters are there in 300 centimeters? Now they are asking for meters. That means we need to convert centimeters into meters. Here. When you want to convert, change centimeters into meters, what, what you must do? You need to divide the given number of centimeters by what? 100. So 300 divide by 100. What is the answer? That is 3. 3 what? 3 meters. Definitely you must write meters. Otherwise your answer will be wrong. So you need to write 3 and simple m. Second one, how many centimeters are there in 5 meters? Now they, they are asking to ch convert, to change these 5 meters into centimeters. Change meters to centimeter. What you must do? You must multiply the given number of meters by 100. 5 multiplied by 100, what is the answer? That is 500 what 500 centimeters 5 simple cm third one denote 450 centimeters using meters and centimeters within this 450 there are 400 meter if you uh, divide this into two parts i mean you can write 400 centimeter plus 50 centimeter 400 centimeter means how many meters that is 4 meters and you know the remaining 50 centimeters are also there so 4 meters 50 centimeter understood 400 centimeters mean 4 meters and the remaining 50 centimeter so you need to four me you need to write as 4 meters and 50 centimeter 4 simple m and 50 simple cm fourth one 
convert 5 meters and 20 centimeters into centimeters. To convert meters into centimeter, you need to multiply by 100. So 5 multiplied by 100 is 500. And these 20 centimeters you must add for that 500 centimeters. 500 plus this 20 is 520 simple cm. So now I hope that you all, so now I hope you all understood how to answer these questions. So now we'll move into addition of meters and centimeters. You all have learned this in grade 4 also, but we are learning it in grade 5 also. So we will see what is the first question. A wire is 3 meter and 35 centimeter in length. Another wire is 4 meter, 80 centimeter in length. Find the total length of the two wires. Now two wires are given. You need to find the total length of those two wires. What you must do in you to get the total length, put I told you, when you get the word total, you must add, that is addition. So you must add these two lengths. When you are adding these uh, meters and centimeters, you can write like this. You can put the you can write the symbol that is simple length for meters and simple cm for centimeters. And then you can write the length of the first wire that is 3 meters and 35 centimeter 3 meter 35 centimeter and the next wire the second wire length is 4 meter and 80 centimeter here write 4 meters 80 centimeter so when you are adding this now it is the normal method that you are using here also to add these numbers but small thing happens in centimeter side we will see what it is when you add these two numbers 35 and 80 you get the answer as 115 centimeter but in the centimeter side you can't have more than two digits the maximum number of digits you can have here is two if you get three numbers like this we'll see what to do it's 115 centimeter 115 centimeter means one meter and 15 centimeter so you write these centimeters here that is 15 centimeter here and you take this one meter to the meter side so 3 plus 4 is 7 and this one you need to add there 7 plus 1 is 8 understood if you get three numbers you need to write it like this that is now you got 115 centimeter now so here you are writing it as 1 meter and 15 centimeter and you take only this centimeter to this side that is 15 and you take this 1 to meter side. Okay. Now we will see how to answer a question use, uh, with using statements. This is also addition. We will see what is the question. 8 meter 50 centimeter of yellow ribbon and 5 meter 80 centimeter of red ribbon are needed to make a decoration. What is the total length of ribbons needed? They have asked for the total. Total means you need to add. So what is the first statement you are going to write? It's very easy. You all have written statements before. Likewise the same method we are using here. First we are writing length of the yellow ribbon. And you need to write the length. When you, write, when you are writing the length, please indicate these meters and centimeter symbols. Otherwise, your answer will be wrong. You write simple M here and simple CM here and write the f uh, length of the yellow ribbon. That is 8 meters and 50 centimeter. Then what will be our second statement? That is length of the yellow ribbon. What is the length of the yellow ribbon? That is 5 meter and 80 centimeter. So we, I wrote it here. Then they are asking for the total length of ribbons needed. You can write as the third statement total length of the ribbons. So what you must do here you must add those two numbers. Now I haven't shown you how I took these centimeters. Now 
you can recall what you learned from the first question that is here 50 plus 80 here 0 plus 0 is 0 8 plus 5 is 13 so when you add 50 plus 80 the answer is 130 centimeter I told you to write it as meters and centimeters 130 centimeter means 1 meter and 30 centimeter here you are writing only the centimeters so it's 30 centimeter and you are taking that one to where you are taking that one meter to this side meter side 8 plus 5 is 13 and that one is 14 so the total length is 14 meters and 30 centimeter understood now did you understand how to add the numbers how to add uh, meters and centimeters and how to answer a question using statements right now we'll move into subtraction of meters and centimeters we'll see what is the question length of a y is 12 meters what is the length of the remaining piece when a 6 meters 50 centimeter length is cut off when you see the word cut off you know it's definitely you need to subtract and here the word remaining total means addition remaining means subtraction so I have simply showed you here how to subtract uh, meters and centimeters you see here the wires 12 meters from out of that 12 meters we cut off this 6 meter and 50 centimeter here 0 0 minus 50 can you subtract 50 from 0 no what you are doing is you are borrowing 1 meter to this centimeter side when you borrow 1 meter to centimeter side it converts into centimeter 1 meter equals what 100 centimeter 100 centimeter minus 50 centimeter what is the answer it's 50 50 centimeter now here how many remaining from this 12 I borrowed 1 meter how many remaining here it's 11 so 11 minus 6 is 5 the answer is 5 meters and 50 centimeters from the next question I will teach you how to write statements and answer the question the length of a hall is 12 meter 25 centimeter and the width is 8 meter and 50 centimeter what is the difference between the length and the width so here also you need to write the simple m and simple cm and what will be our first statement that is the length of the hole length of the hole that is 12 meters and 25 centimeter then you need they are asking for the difference remember difference means the word difference when you see the word difference you must know uh, I must subtract the given two numbers total means addition remaining is subtraction and also the word difference uh, mean subtraction so here the second one is the width width of the hole that is 8 meters and 50 centimeter what will be the third one third statement that is difference between the length and the width they are asking what is the difference between the length and the width so the difference to find the difference you must subtract here 25 minus 50 can you subtract no what I must do I must borrow one meter from this meter side to my centimeter side when one meter comes to centimeter side it is 1 meter means 100 centimeter that 100 centimeter should be added to this 25 then it will be 125 centimeter ah, now that from 125 you must subtract this 50 125 minus 50 is 75 now I borrowed one from here so the remaining will be 11 so 11 minus 8 is 3 now put there if you at once if you can't subtract 50 from 125 you can do like this 5 minus 0 is 5 here 2 no so I am borrowing 1 here then that is 12 12 minus 5 is 7 you can do like that also 
So, this is the way you must uh, write statements and do the subtraction. To another mathematical operation, we will see what it is. A wood plank is 1 meter 50 centimeter long. A carpenter needs 4 such wood planks to repair a roof. What is the total length of the wood planks needed? Now at once you will feel ah, uh, they have asked for the total length. Then I must definitely add these numbers. Yes, that is also correct. Here I have shown you here how to add. You can write simple m, simple cm and write 150 four times because they are telling a wood plank is 1 meter and 50 centimeter long but a carpenter needs four such wood planks. So to find the total length of those four wood planks we are adding and finding the answer. But Putte here I have used another mathematical operation instead of addition. That is to save your time and it is very simple, a short method. This is little bit long but this is short. Here what I have done is I have multiplied 1 meter and 50 centimeter by 4 because they are asking for the total length of 4 such wood planks. So I have multiplied this length by 4. Understood? When they are asking for more than uh, 2 things with the same length, more than 2 things with the same length, you can multiply and take the answer. Here, 4 times 0, it is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. Are you going to write 20 in the centimeter side? No, because at the very first I told you, you can't write more than two digits here. You can't keep more than two digits here. So what you are going to do is you are taking that two two meter side. So four plus one, four times one is four plus that two is six. So the answer is six meters. Now here I have shown you a question with statements. The same mathematical operation I have used here. It is multiplication. We will see a window is 1 meter 12 centimeter wide. What is the length of curtain needed for 5 such windows? Here also I have asked the length for more than 2 windows that is for 5. But the length is same. What I can do here? I can simply add the length given by the number of windows. So the first statement I can write here curtain needed for one window that is the length of curtain needed for one window is 1 meter and 12 centimeter and then as the second statement you can write number of windows that is 5 so 1 meter and 12 centimeter we are multiplying by this 5 so 5 uh, the third statement is the total length of curtain needed 5 times 2 is 10 you put 0 here, 1 remaining, 5 times 1 is 5, that remaining 1 is 6. Here 5 times 1 is 5, again 5 times 2 is 10, 1 remaining, 5 times 1 is 5 plus that 1 is 6, 5 times this 1 is 5. So the answer is 5 meters and 60 centimeters. Now you know what my next mathematical operation is yes that is division a 9 meter 9 centimeter length of rope is divided into three equal parts find the length of one part now I'm dividing this length into three equal parts so I can divide and get the answer when you see the word divided into three equal parts you know uh, it is a it is division so this is how we are going to divide the same way you are dividing numbers but we have put this we have denoted these meters and centimeters here the symbols of meters and centimeters here here you write nine meters and nine centimeter and you show how you are dividing it here you are dividing it by 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 
so 3 times 3 is 9 then 9 minus 9 is 0 and you are taking down this 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 minus 9 is 0 that is the answer and don't forget to put simple m and simple cm if you are if you are dividing this number correctly but you are showing the division without writing these symbols your answer is wrong you are not getting full marks at an exam so definitely you must write this uh, you must show the symbols for meters and centimeters Mother bought 8 meters 80 centimeter long curtain material from a shop. She cut it into 4 pieces with equal length. How long is one piece? When the total length is given and if they are telling, ah, now they, have they want to divide that total length into some equal parts, you know it's definitely division. So here this uh, curtain material they have divided into 4 pieces. They have cut it into four equal pieces so if they are telling uh, they have cut that one into four equal pieces you need to divide to find the length of one piece so you uh, like our previous uh, question you can show the division like this 8 meter 8, 80 centimeter divide by 4 8 divide by 4 is 2 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0 and you are taking this 8 down now. Again 8 divided by 4 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0 and you are taking this 0 also down. They are 0 divided by 4, the answer is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0 and what you have to do you must definitely put these signs the symbols meters and centimeters so today you learned how to add meters and centimeters how to subtract meters and centimeters how to multiply meters and centimeters and how to divide meters and centimeters when uh, two different lengths are given and when they are asking for the total length you must add those two lengths and when two lengths are given two different lengths are given and if they are asking for the remaining length or the if they are asking to find the difference between the length what you must do yeah you must subtract those lengths and in the next mathematical operation that is multiplication when they are asking for uh, when they are asking the total length for more than two things uh, then you what you must do is you need to multiply that length by the given number and in the last mathematical operation that is division when a length is given and if they are telling that they want to divide that length into different equal parts what you must do you must divide the given length from the given number so I hope you understood all the four mathematical operations on the lesson length and distance so you uh, you now I hope if any question is given even to add, subtract, multiply or division you can do them without any mistakes. Thank you.